Hi, I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today to talk about an upcoming festival, um, holiday festival event. Uh, it's the Festival of Trains with the Queen Anne's County Railroad Society. That uh, They put this on every year, and I have Dan Worth here. Hi, Hi. welcome. And he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Um, tell us tell us what people can see if they come to your Festival of Trains. <laughs> well, of course, they're going to see trains, <laughs> and uh, we, we have trains of... Um, all the major um, scales, okay. um, from G scale down to uh, Z, and um, but the, I guess the biggest attraction seems to be the uh, O scale layout. The, the they're very um, loud and they have smoke and. Um, Is that the one that you have set up in the center? Yeah, usually? it's usually set okay. up in the center, and um, and I'm involved with the uh, H O scale layout. Okay, we kind of pride ourselves on. Uh, making things to scale and to uh, and on our craftsmanship and and sense of humor, I guess, which you have to find in <laughs> looking through the modules. And, so. and I know that a lot of the setups that you have, um, you have towns, local towns are featured in some of those. And Yes, or they're takeoffs of yeah, local towns. Yeah, there we go, right. takeoffs, yeah. that's And a local good businesses. And, right. Um, and uh, some, some people like the, uh, the kind of the toy aspect and other people like the, the, the scale aspect of, of, of the hobby. And so we, we kind of accommodate all, all of that. And uh, we also have um, hands-on displays for, for children. That's what I was going right. to ask about. Yes, there's a, for the HO scale, there's a, a push button display lets the uh, trains run around. And I, last year, and I believe this year again, the O scale layout will have a um, hands-on. They're the bigger ones, the right? The bigger ones, yes. yes. Yep. And um, allow the train to run at different speeds or whatever. Okay, so, and the kids that can Right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we try to limit the speed because first thing kids want to do is track. see how fast they can make them go. You know, <laughs> and then and right off. Exactly. I know the one that always fascinates me. Um, I think there's two of them displays the suitcase ones. Oh yes. Um, yeah. Those are the Z scale ones. Is right? that Z? Okay. Right. So so does the size go up as the alphabet goes up, or does it go down? How does that work? There's, there's no real system. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, just when I thought I had well, it. G, G, G kind of means garden. Okay, okay gotcha. This is stuff that could be put outside. It's so big that okay. you, it'll be durable enough to uh, okay. run around outside. <laughs> Here, I thought they went in order. And O was like originally like zero or something. Uh -huh. and it transitioned in, in, into O, and then H-O is half of O. Okay. And then then they started using arbitrary letters like N and Z for the next Okay, size yeah, the smaller, Z, I, right. I, that just fascinates me because they're in two suitcases. And, oh, yes. and they, so you just close the suitcase and go. You take your train set oh, with yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and so you guys put this on, and it's the first two weekends in December right. every year at the um, old outlet center down at Kent Narrows. Yes. Um, and you're raising, you raise money. It's free. You take donations, right. and you're raising money for the society. Tell me, tell me, and everyone else a little bit about what you all do, um, what what your project is that oh, you're working okay. on. Well, um, let's see. It was about five to ten years ago. The uh, town, the town of Centerville, which owned the um, the location where the uh, freight station, the Pennsylvania mm -hmm. Railroad freight station and terminal, uh, was located, uh, wanted to um, basically get rid of the building that that was there um, and the, the building the freight station had it has been there since um, probably the 1920s or the wow. 1930s okay and so uh, we thought it worthy to preserve that and so um, we talked the uh, county into providing some land which they they had recently acquired Bloomfield Farm right. uh, just north of uh, Centerville and uh, Talked the town into uh, giving the society the uh, the building and, and moved it out. Right. In the, so now in, you just had to get the building to the the farm. <laughs> right. And so now you know. So so we use the um, the funds that are raised to refurbish the building. And right. We we, um, we have um, so far we're still working on budding it up. You know, trying to keep the uh -huh. trying to keep the birds and the critters out out of the inside. We do have a clean up and update on. Um, Corsica River Awareness Day, we do right. open it up for people to, to see how we're and doing And it's nice inside. if you go to that event every year to see the progress that you all are making. Yes. Every year there's something else yeah. has been done to the building. Yeah, we think it's rather slow progress, but when you look at it over a year, then you kind of, well, we did do quite a bit, right. you know, and when people 
come see it. So. And, and you guys did move the, um, I just find it fascinating that you moved the building from town in the middle of the night out to the farm. Right. And so that was up 213, you had to go and I guess you had to go negotiate power wires and all that yes. kind of stuff. Yeah, all that happened before I joined up, but okay. you know, I, I, I still hear the stories about that. Yeah. And they also went and tore up the tracks, the rails, um, which were sitting on somebody's farm. Some, okay. you know, that we, we hope to be able to use those rails Very up there nice. somewhere. And, um, and some of the uh, uh, cross box, some of the uh, other, other railroad equipment we, we have. So, we, so we'd like to turn that freight station into a museum and a, and a permanent uh, railroad wow. exhibit. And then that would be nice. Ultimately expand it into, a, you know, get another building that we could expand into. So then you could have your train festival of trains right there. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, we got <laughs> you got big enough, enough space, right? right? Well, that's the thing. You you had the 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 displays have kept growing. Um, and at the Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center, you guys have a little sample of uh, some of the trains. They're not running, but some of the trains and information there. I see it every day in the building. And um, you have some really, really good storyboards about the trains in Centerville, um, pictures of them moving the, the station and that type of thing. So right. people can come and see that also. Yes. Um, but definitely the first two weekends in December, come see the, the exhibits. And um, your website's going to be up on the screen so people okay. can see what the website is. Um, okay. And is there anything else we should know about the Festival of Trains other than it's, I'm just going to say I go every year. Yeah, so we, we see a lot of regulars there, and we're, you know, we're always want to get new people to come as well. The, kid, the kids really enjoy it and yeah. look forward to it every year. So Wonderful. Well, thanks for coming in, Dan, oh, and welcome. hopefully you'll have a big crowd again this year. Thank okay, you so much. Okay, you're welcome.